It's remodeling day. So this is where I work and film videos for work and everything. And this is what it looks like right now. It's kind of just a mess and very empty. I actually should be remodeling like the whole room today. So here's the whole thing. Before we start with the studio remodel, I gotta tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is Care Of. So Care Of is a subscription service that ships high quality, personalized vitamins, supplements, and powders conveniently to your door every month. Y'all know fall is just around the corner and I love fall, but my favorite part is when the seasons change, it's a perfect time to reset and think a little bit about the changes you can make in your daily routine to be better for your health. And this is a great way to get started. It's so easy because you can just take a short in-depth quiz about your lifestyle and your health goals for a personalized recommendation. And honestly, this is my favorite feature because to be honest, when I started, I had no idea what kind of vitamins or supplements I would want. But after I took the quiz, they recommended all of this stuff personalized for me. And what's cool is each shipment comes with a customized booklet showing you exactly what's in your individual daily packs and why it was recommended specifically for you and your health goals. So you don't feel like you're just taking a bunch of random stuff either. So I would definitely recommend checking out Care Of. And for 50% off your first Care Of order, you can go to TakeCareOf.com and enter code Sydney. Francis 50. Once again, for 50% off your first care of order, it's takecareof.com and enter code Sydney Francis 50. Thank you once again to Kara for sponsoring, and let's continue with this video. So my apartment said I could paint this wall black and they have like a painter who comes in and does it. I just have to pay for it and I can choose any wall in the house and any color I want as long as it's from Sherwin Williams. So I asked them to paint this wall black because it's gonna be in the background of all of my videos and I am obsessed. Black is my favorite color, so I am just thriving right now. He still needs to come back and do another coat, so I'm just kinda waiting. Okay, so I have two things I need to put together right now, and this one is just like something that's gonna go on the back of the wall. Wish me luck. and I don't know where the charger to it is. My thumb is completely numb from like the screwdriver. Everything's a little wonky, so I hope that it stays together. But here's the reveal. It's really cute. And this is dry, so I can start decorating now. First of all, can we talk about the black wall? And they even painted that little, what are these things called again? The breaker box? You painted that black too. So that's pretty nice. So this little guy is just gonna kind of go right here. And that is literally adorable. I am obsessed. I got a new chair I need to put together. I have some shelves coming. Need to hang curtains. I'm still out of breath. Okay, I got this tree. Definitely thought it was bigger, but I think it'll work. Maybe I should get like a cute little basket for it. These are my curtains. They're just all black. I'm really going for just basically a black and like green theme. These are so nice. They're gonna look so good once they're hanging. I love it. I also have some stuff I need to go pick up at my leasing office, but I got these little pictures and I'm gonna hang them on shelves and stuff. Oh, this is the railing. Literally amazing. I guess I can hang this, but my drill is dead. I need to find that thing. All right, so this is what the curtain rod looks like. Hopefully it's long enough, because I didn't. Okay. I thought I measured. It's adjustable, so it should be long enough. I found it.
I hope this is tall enough because it's as tall as I could go. There's only about 1% of me that actually trusts that this is going to stay up, but there you have it. It looks pretty nice. I needed blackout curtains for like filming and stuff, so that's what I went with. So far, this is starting to look pretty freaking incredible. I am so happy. This is a new brown and black chair to match rather than, you know, my pink one. So we're going to put it together. Hopefully this doesn't take as long. I really delayed lunchtime, but I really need to eat, so I'm having leftovers. Last night, I got this like local chicken place and just decided to eat it for lunch, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna watch some YouTube and eat some chicken. Back for my little lunch break. I walked up to my leasing office and picked up three more packages, and this one package has a bunch of packages, and my camera had died, so I'm gonna show you my chair. Look how cute it is. It is so comfortable, and it matches the vibe and everything, so now let's do a little bit of unboxing with this box of boxes. First thing is this cute little basket. I am literally a fiend for like little woven baskets. They just tie things together so well. Once it actually finds itself out, that'll be really cute and it could even fit in there if I wanted it to. This is so fun because I don't even remember what I ordered. Ooh, yes. This is like a little hanging light, I think. I hope my light bulbs are here because this is going to be absolutely adorable. Yes. So this is gonna be two little lamps with Edison bulbs and I'm kind of obsessed. Oh, this is such a cute little light. Look at this little lamp thing. This is like a dope little floor light that can change colors. Oh, these are the shelves, I think. Yay! I don't really know exactly where to hang the shelves. I'm not good at this. I need a cute. That is pretty cool. That's like pretty dope. Good morning. I took a break because I had to go to my Bible study. I ended up having to sleep on the couch last night because this is what my room looks like. Oh my gosh, I need like an intense stretching session because everything hurts. First of all, I didn't record it, but I carried this entire package of this thing, which I swear was like 100 pounds, up two flights of stairs because my boyfriend was at work. And I was like, I want to bring it upstairs right now. Why do I do these things to myself? I don't know. Um, My SD card that was 64 gigabytes completely filled from all the time lapses and my camera died four times. So now it is fully charged, not just half charged, and I should be able to keep going. Um, I need to do my bed, and then I really need to get my studio looking nice so I can film for work. Let's get back to work. that I got this done and I am pretty proud of myself. I thought this would have had to be a two-person job. Probably would have made it easier but strong independent woman. When your boyfriend's at work but you just want to get things done, that's me. I always am, I've just always kind of been like that once I start a project. I don't care if someone can help me or not, I gotta get it done. So now I'm going to add the bed, put on my sheets and everything. I'm a little confused as to why this is a thing. Maybe to just like keep the bed secure in there. But I find that that's gonna be really annoying. So we will see. Let me get my sheets. Actually, my sheets are still a little bit wet, so I'm just gonna put the bed on. Okay, this is actually super inconvenient. <laughs> Maybe I should move the bed frame how I want it first. Now 
Now this is actually super heavy. Ugh. I don't really have a plan. Okay, here we go. Okay, that was actually really easy. Ignore the nasty like cat pee stains on here. I am obsessed. I can't wait to get like cute little like fabrics and lights to hang from there. Maybe some hanging plants. I just want it to feel super vibey. I'm gonna get some like fabric for it, but for now I just have like a curtain and a blanket and some little plants. We'll see how that goes with the cat, but he hasn't even tried to attack it, and honestly it'd be fine if he did. The bed frame's also way taller than my last bed frame was, so like my blankets actually aren't like dragging on the ground, it's really nice. Like everything just fits so much better, there's a lot more room under the bed. It just feels so like nice and cozy. I'm really just going for like ultimate vibes, so I'll probably put like some strip lights behind the bed or around the bed or something, and I'm very excited. I still have a few more things to do, but oh my gosh, this looks so good. I just sent in a screenshot from like my big camera showing off the studio. It is a literal night and day difference. It's funny because it went light to dark too. Like just the moodiness of it, I'm obsessed. And somehow, because my office paid for all of this, um, somehow me and the other guy had the same idea for the studio setup. So his is very similar, which is perfect because now it'll look very cohesive. But we didn't talk about it before. We were given creative freedom and we came up with the same ideas. So that's awesome. Um, love getting along with my coworkers. But everything will be linked because I literally had to send it in a list to my boss to order. So I can literally link everything that is behind me and I will down below. Phoenix really wants to hang, so I'm gonna hang. I'm gonna eat some food, but now that I come down here, I'm just like, ugh. Like compared to my room, my room is unreal. And then down here, it's just so plain. Like obviously gorgeous apartment, but I really wanna decorate now, but I don't know a plan for the decorations. I did yank on both of the like pipe shelf things and I was like, don't go out and like, it is definitely a stud. I measured to see if it was in a stud. Also, can we talk about how good I did with how level it is? Like, are you kidding me? That might be perfectly level. Let me check. I have a little level. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. It is like slightly going down that way, slightly. So I'm pretty freaking impressed. Now I'm going to decorate it, but I yanked on them and then they wouldn't even go in. I had to take a screwdriver because the drill wouldn't even go and I was like, ah! So I think it's in there and I think it's staples. Hopefully it never falls on anyone's heads. It's been a couple of days and the room is almost done. I just got back from my Labor Day weekend vacation. So I need to basically just hang my other two curtains. They just got here a couple days ago and I haven't done it yet. And then I think I have some more packages I need to go get because I should have a tripod for this light and a teleprompter for work. But let's hang up these last curtains. Phoenix is being extra clingy today. He's literally in this rug. I need to put this rug under my bed. Oh, also, for some reason my AC is broken, so I just put in a maintenance order. Don't know how long that's gonna take, so I might just go put on a t-shirt while I get some manual labor done. I just looked up and it is like completely slanted. I literally might cry at the fact that I have to hang another one. 
The maintenance guy just came and fixed the AC, so it's finally cooling down. Let's go see. It was stuck between 77 and 78, and we're at 76, so we're getting cooler. It just might take a while. Hopefully it actually goes down. That curtain, putting that up, was literally the death of me. Um, I don't know why that was so difficult. I don't trust it at all. It could fall at any second. Um, I just got my first teleprompter ever, and I set it up, and I'm so excited. It's literally going right now. Uh, you can't really see. Oh, because my iPad shut or locked or whatever. You now get to watch my attempt to put this rug under the bed by myself. And if I can't, then I'll wait till my boyfriend gets home. I need it to go way further back, so I don't know how I'm going to do this. <laughs> I genuinely don't know how I did that. <laughs> this is what my studio looks like whenever I'm filming. It is actually insane. I am so happy with the way that it turned out. I'm obsessed. So shout out to my work for hooking me up with this. Um, I love what I do for my job. Just a little update I guess on my job is that it's just going super well. I love it so much. I love the way my background looks. It adds such a vibe. I obviously have an awesome backdrop for sit down videos now. So if you guys have any of those you want me to film, let me know. I have a few ideas, but that would also help because it's hard to film videos now that I work 40 hours a week. <laughs> anyway, that is my studio. So let me give you a little tour of it. That's it for this video. Don't forget to check out Care of in the description down below. And once again, thank you for sponsoring. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and I will see you guys in the next one.